Hello YouTube, Bowtie Media here. Today we've got a reaction video, sort of, not really, and I know I lost a ton of you, but uh, this video is going to be kind of a meta commentary on reactions of some sort, and kind of just a quick little conversation video. I haven't really done a video like this before, and so I'm intrigued to try this style, but uh, before we get any further, uh, of all of my content in the past year, all the videos I've done, I have, uh, I would say I have about eight main styles of video. Which one would you say that is the most popular? And I'll list them out for you. There are the streams, reaction videos, guessing games, this week in EDM, tier lists, rankings, hot takes, and reviews, EP reviews, album reviews, all that kind of stuff. Of those eight categories, which is the most popular, which is the least popular in the past year, I think I went back to data. But uh, let's let's quickly look at this. So uh, at the bottom of the list is reviews, uh, EP and album reviews. I haven't done a ton of them and they're not that popular. Uh, this Week in EDM is up next. This is also by average views from the video. So not median, just average, but median is pretty similar. Uh, and then the streams are next in most popularity. Uh, and then ranking videos up there. Uh, and then the hot takes, not many hot takes up there, but there's a few. And then the guessing game videos, uh, and this doesn't include the very, very first ones I did because those are over a year ago. Uh, it has like halfway through season one, I think is at this point. Uh, and then tier lists and uh, with a 60% increase in uh, views from the tier list is the reaction videos, which are insane. In the past year, I've averaged uh, one and a half thousand views per video where the other ones are less than even a K. And so this video is... Yeah, it's gonna be interesting because I I am, well, yes, we're talking about views. I don't do this channel for views. I, I really don't hear me out. This is just kind of a fun statistical look or analysis at this kind of content and this style of stuff that I'm producing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I don't care about the views, but it is it is fun to go back and look at them. And I mean, obviously I care a little bit. It's not, I'm not gonna say I don't care fully. When I see a video do well, I, I'm, I get excited. I get that dopamine hit, but. Yeah, I think reaction videos are like here to stay. Like it's just even, even on YouTube, it is crazy to see how popular reaction content is, particularly considering that like it's the easiest stuff to make. Like I felt bad doing this, this member thon so far and being like, oh, I, d I said earlier, I didn't want to make just, just reaction videos because they're like easy to make. I feel like this is kind of boring content, but in the end, the numbers just don't lie. You guys like reaction videos. Sort of, and that's why I'm getting to the next part here, is the you guys part of that, the quote. Uh, you guys just being all-inclusive. Um, yeah, it's uh, reaction content is what I consider what's called evergreen content, stuff that will stay sort of relevant for a while, stuff that can get views later on in the life cycle. It's not just a, oh, after two, three days of the video being up, it's just kind of done and dusted and no one really cares about the video. Stuff that stays a bit longer, like my Porter Robinson reviews or reactions, I mean, um, the Tristam, all that kind of stuff. Uh, even Hot Takes, I think, is a little bit more of like evergreen content or tier lists. But um, yeah, like this week in EDM is a great example where it's not at all. It's like, a, hey, you're not going to go back in three weeks really. And I mean, you could and watch this three weeks ago. You're not going to go back in a year and go, oh, I wonder what he thought about the songs that came out a year and a half ago or whatever. So that's not that's not that. But yeah, the thing is that the reaction content is seen by a lot of non-subscribers. Uh, I don't have actual data numbers on who watches it that aren't subscribed versus that are subscribed. But uh, the reaction content is that more evergreen content. Like I only have 2K subs. And when the average video of the past year of reactions have been 1.5, there's no way 75% of you subscribed or watching this. It's, it's more like the 25, maybe even less than that. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just such an interesting thing. And so I, I'd love to kind of hear what you guys think about this, maybe even this graph. Like... <laughs> Some of my hardcore viewers here, uh, hardcore I mean people that like watch, uh, that have been around for a long time and watch me pretty consistently, like what do you think of my reaction content? Do you see a reaction to a new song and you're like, oh, another reaction video where you're like, oh, I'm interested to hear this reaction. My guess is most of you would say, oh, like if I enjoy the song or anticipate it for this artist, then I'll watch the video just to hear the thoughts. I think for the most part, I would say just what I see from watch time, 
most of you, I think, skip to the like last part where I just give my thoughts on the song, especially if you've heard it already. And that's totally okay. That's why I have the timestamps there. I'm, I'm not someone, again, that's trying to fish for you to stay longer in the video. I try to make stuff as easy as I can. I try to add chapters um, as, as much as I can for all the videos. This one doesn't really have chapters, so I can't really do that. It doesn't really have sequential order of video. I'm literally just rambling, so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I'd just be really interested to see what you guys think of like the reaction content. Are you are you so excited to see that stuff? Or are you just like, hey, like this is it's bow ties, bread and butter, stuff that gets more viewers in the door, but then I'm excited for the other stuff like the the hot takes or this week in EDM or the, even the streams. Like streams I think are a great example. It's the third highest of the eight here. This does include the um, new listening parties that we've done. Uh, or the new music Mondays in some weeks, uh, the fun streams we've been doing recently, these guessing game streams, uh, as well as the uh, <laughs> discography tournaments, which I want to bring back at some point. So that's more of like the hardcore, like most of you guys are there. They're pretty much all my subscribers are actually there for the most part. So that's like, if on average that's like 600, that's pretty much all of you. <laughs> like that's I think that's probably upwards in 80% of actual subscribers watching that content. So I don't know. This this video is kind of just a ramble. It's a mixed bag of nothing. I've kind of I kind of wanted to just experiment with a style of video like this where we're just kind of talking. And I'd uh, love to hear any and all thoughts on this what I've talked about, particularly reaction content. Do you like reaction content? Like I get suckered into reaction content too. I I like watching other people watch other videos. I don't get it. It's a weird culture of YouTube, but it works i guess and it's fun and people enjoy it but um yeah i just want to know your thoughts on all the stuff below but uh other than that i've been bowtie media and i'll see you guys in another video